This is a handheld game from 1983. It's Toby's Caveman. Actually, as it says on the screen, Junior Caveman vs. Dinosaur. And off to the right, it says Toby Micro Computer Game. Dynamic Multi Screen. LSI CPU FIP Index Panel. Now that sounds all very complicated. It's a vacuum fluorescent display. And LSI apparently means large scale integration on the CPU. Uh, I'm not sure what the FIP index panel means. But anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, before I started this video, I had to repair the speaker wire that had broken. It's the thinnest wire I've ever seen. Anyway, that's fixed. So let's have a look. Caveman has uh, two levels, amateur and pro, which you can switch between. I'll zoom in in a second when we start to play. The idea of the game is that your caveman has to steal the eggs from the dinosaur and return them to the cave, fill the cave up to progress to the next level, all while getting points. The and the sound doesn't sound great after all these years either. Anyway, so we start off with a number of lives, and in the amateur game, it starts off pretty easy. You can throw your hammer, knock the dinosaur out. Once the egg starts to flash, it means that you've got it. You can usually pick up two at a time and start to fill the cave. Quite easy, gets you into the swing of things. Let's take a little bit of a zoom in here. And if you miss out on the egg, it hatches and you miss out on the egg. So, flashes, grab it, back to the cave. There's only one spot where you can hit the dinosaur, that's right here. Other spots are for later in the game. So the scoring goes up to 2000. So you'll see I've just finished the first level. Scoring goes up to 2000 and then it'll display, when it displays your score, It'll have a little egg in your cave there indicating that you've got 2,000. So are we focused enough? Let's have a look. Now, the second level in Aperture, you can see introduces the uh, pterodactyl, which they call... What do they call it? The dragons. In the user manual, they call them the dragons. So you can kill those... Or they will steal your exposed egg. So if I... See? He's stolen it. I can sit there and protect it. So I'll sit here and protect this egg. Can't get it. Shoot him. Collect the egg. Back to the cave. Kill. Collect. Back to the cave. You see the dizzy... Save the egg. So you notice the dizzy marks over his head. It means he's coming out of his little daze that you've put him in. You can, of course, risk it and steal an egg without hitting the dinosaur. Like that. Oh, we're getting a lot of flaring here, aren't we? So now, the third level in Amateur does away with the pterodactyl for now, and we get the exploding volcano. And the little red embers, or lava blobs, 
Um, they have to hit you on the head for you to lose a life. So I could run through it like that. But if I'm hit on the head, I lose a life. So we'll just finish up this level and you'll see once we get to 2000, because the first digit is not a full, it's only a one in the score, you'll notice. So here we're coming up to, see, he breathed his fire breath on me, killed me. I, sh I think you get an extra man, extra life. Waiting for the lava. Yeah. So, ah, walked out into the, the fire. Okay. So, let's turn it off. The pro version is a, is a bit of a different game. Same, same game, but you, ha you are limited to one hammer while you're out here. You have to go back and pick up a hammer. And... So I have to pick that up. And now we have two dragons or pterodactyls. So, oh, he's taken my egg. Eggs hatched. There it is. So it was quite a challenge for 10, 11 year old me at the time. Many hours of fun. I took four C cells batteries. Yeah, a bit of a challenge in the professional. Takes a bit more time to collect all the eggs and they keep on stealing them. And of course, the volcano will erupt. Oh, that was a lucky one. Quick, quick, quick. So I'll just get, hopefully, to the next level, and we'll leave it at that. Oh, close. Steal my egg? No. Okay. So now the volcano is erupting. Anyway, thanks for watching. Happy days.